Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm. It is now early December and I need to have a little tour and a catch up because it's been nearly a week, a week since I recorded the last episode again. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to do some and get back into it but that clearly wasn't the case. I uh, I wasn't feeling great and I don't know, it's, it's a lot of residual, <laughs> residual Covid left over still. Still got a uh, persistent <laughs> annoying cough and uh, I just can't get stuff out of my throat but we're going to try it we're going to try and see if we can get a couple of these done in the next few days and on top of that I'm having such an annoyance with uh, FS22 at the minute things just are not going well not the maze plus thing maze plus thing we're getting there since the update I've had nothing but trouble with the game uh, I had like four days where I couldn't even get the game to launch for whatever reason it was absolutely crazy and when I did get it to launch it would just freeze all the time and I know people say there's mod issues I tried it without any mods and it still was an absolute bitch all the time so we really want to try and get some uh, herbicide on this field that needs doing uh, a few changes have happened by the way I will uh, run through them as we go as I've been trying to get stuff in order. Um, what have we got going on here? We've got bales. Honestly, I cannot remember what I did last time out. So we've got bales to collect. Plenty of hay by the looks of it. I think I collect, I baled up all the meadows by the looks of it. Yeah, that's two there and here. So that's what we did. No word of a lie. It has been so long since I've been here. This one is completely cleared. So we need to clear the bales, we need to probably fertilise our meadows. We were doing the beet harvest, um, so we'll uh, we'll head over there and we'll uh, see what's going on with that. So here we are at the beet field. As you can see, I'd already had a little crack at putting a headland in here. Uh, I've been having issues now, new issues, I've been having issues with uh, course play. Um, Mainly on this field, I haven't tried on any of the others, but this field, whenever I try and set up a course play, it throws me an error, sends me a look at the log, I look in the log and I can find no error, but it won't, it won't, uh, it won't work for whatever reason. Now, I thought the sugar beet was going to be uh, dead in December, but it's still ready for harvest. We, I could have got more out, but if you remember, I was having issues with the, the la or what I thought was issues with the Lambo. Let's uh, jump in the Lambo and just get uh, started on some of this subsoil. Um, yeah, I thought I was having issues with the Lambo and maybe it wasn't compatible anymore. And I've, um, in, in trying to get the bee out of this field after the last episode, I had to restart the game four or five times because it just kept freezing. No matter what I did, I'd get in the Lambo, I'd try and either change camera, which I can now do freely. I would try and jump in and out of the vehicle, I would try and tab to another vehicle and I couldn't get the bloody harvester to unload. If I was sat in the vehicle, if I jumped out of the vehicle, the harvester unloaded on its own. It was annoying. Uh, and after about four or five times of having to reboot the game every time I emptied, <laughs> emptied the harvester, um, I decided I was just going to scrap that. And I, I did, as I did say I would, if it was persistent, I was going to change out the Lambo, thinking it was the Lamborghini's fault. And I went for, it was silly of me to start with, I replaced it with a McCormick um, X8, a modded version, for whatever reason, I could have got a normal one, but I went for a modded version. And I connected that up, and that was that was all working fine beforehand, I got to the field, I connected it to the, the beet harvester, and it crashed. The HUD, um, all down on the bottom right hand side, I just had the speedo, no numbers, no dial, nothing else that was empty, like an empty speedo, and the rest of it didn't turn up, and the game crashed. So I rebooted it again, and then I sold the Lambo again, and brought a base game, um, was it 7770, uh, Massey Ferguson, base, so it was a base game Massey, a base game Greedy Harvester, 
so it's it's all giant stuff. There should have been no issue with it, no compatibility issues. It worked fine driving down to the field. I connected the weight to it fine, connected the harvester on the back, and again changed the camera view, and the game crashed. I don't know what is wrong with it. I have since booted up. Um, I think No Man's Land, the one that I uh, my son just drives around on. I've booted up that save. I, I've brought the Massey, I've brought this Lambo, and I've brought the Beat Harvester on there. And done exactly the same as what I do here. And I had no crash. So I don't know what that was about. That Nothing crashed, everything went fine. I did the same on um, the old Oop Baylor on save that I still have, that doesn't work anymore. Um, but I put the, the same equipment in, brought, leased it, and did the same, and it worked. So why they're not working here, I don't know. They all were running exactly the same mods. If anything, the others were running more mods because I just clicked go, and that was it. I didn't filter out the ones I don't want. So that's that's strange. I don't know why the equipment is crashing the game. The base game equipment of that is crashing the game. And. You know, you say, oh, it's not compatible with a mod that's running, but it's, it was compatible everywhere else with the mods, and it was compatible here, absolutely fine, until the update. <laughs> it only stopped working after the update. So that was, uh, that's, that's been beyond frustrating, and when you feel like shit, trying to sort that crap out just does not help. It makes me, well, it made me not want to even play, so I didn't, didn't, didn't play for, like I said, yeah, over a week. It has honestly been a week. Um, as you can see, as I've, I've been talking now, what, five minutes and my voice is going. Um, so, so yeah, so we're back to the Lambo. The harvester, the beet harvester, is the only one we can pull, that's the only one we've got, is back at the farm. Hopefully, next time around, we will uh, be able to get it working properly. We'll figure something out. And hopefully by then, course play will be working as well, because it's going to get very hard trying to do all this with uh, base game workers I think there's going to be a lot of um, doing headlands unfortunately I will try it out for other jobs it may, it may just be this field this field might just be a bit of a bitch of a field and that's why other things aren't working if anyone else is running a maple farm at the minute if you've had any issues let me know let Cavalier Roy know as well I haven't contacted Cavalier Roy because I think it's more mod issues or giants issues than the map because the map has been fine has been running fine but anyway I'll uh, I'll get this uh, headland finished and I'll get myself if I bring up the uh, map I'm gonna get myself to uh, what looks like a straightish edge if I go to nine you'll see a bottom right hand corner of the field or the uh, so that southeast corner of the field. We'll start down there. I'll stick the worker on. And then we're going to have a look at something else that has been playing us up because we've been having a few issues. And that issue was our brewery, which you can see unfortunately has now gone. It wouldn't produce anything. I, I, I removed it and I placed another one in and it wasn't producing again. I checked in the XMLs over ownership and it was saying it was ours, uh, but in the log it was throwing up about, f well, it threw up an error for every production output. Uh, so I, th that mod just isn't compatible anymore, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to find something else to put in here. We need something that's gonna use up our strawberries. I mean, we can sell our strawberries direct for a little while while we look for stuff. But I'm thinking the only thing, other thing that uses strawberries, we've got some there and we've got, you know, 200, 400,000 at our um, greenhouses. The only thing else that's really using up strawberries is the bakery, I think, for making cakes. Now, I'm sure there's a bakery already on the map. We can have a look at that, but we can build our own. Um, I've got a large industrial bakery mod. Hopefully that would still work because it produces the same things. It just does them at a a greater rate with a larger capacity probably a quicker output so that might be something I look into I'm not sure yet but we do need something here I've got a distillery 
and I do have another brewery. I did have another brewery. I looked into putting that on this plot, and the the site itself is very big. It's bigger than this whole area we've got going on. So I think it might be a case of getting something else on here and and just getting going. But not right now. That's why we have more money, by the way. Uh, we got 19,000 overnight for milk. I guess we need to go check on them cows. And uh, I got about 60 grand for selling the brewery. And then I removed the mod. So that's where our extra money has come from. So yeah, we did look at the cows. Oh, I, I walked towards the cows, but I didn't really look. I was just wandering around earlier. So they still have a little bit of feed left. So, uh, yeah, we need to get making some feed for them. We've got everything we need to uh, to do it. We've got our silage, our hay, and our beets. Don't think we need anything else. We can use other things, but they're, they're going to be our primaries. And then once we've uh, got the hay all in, got some straw there as well. Once we've got the hay all in, we can um, try and use up some of that mountainous manure to uh, to fertilise our fields. So, sorry, this is um, probably a little bit slow thought processed uh, because I've been away for a while. Right, let's go and find the new Holland and uh, get our bales in. There we are. Still got the uh, trailer on. Yeah, I think I only got maybe two and a half, three more... Um, Tra oh, connected it up rather than took it off. Three or four more trailer loads of uh, beets. I'll head down this way, you'll be able to see. There's not a great deal there. I mean, it's well, it looks pretty full, to be fair. But how long it'll last, I don't know. My bale stacker is around by the dairy cows. So we'll go get that. We've got the... Um, the front loader chopping bucket thing for chopping the beets. But I think we're going to need something else to uh, to produce that at a greater rate. If I have a little look in the placeables, we uh, construction and they are under be under production, I think. Factory? Must be. Here's the industrial bakery I was talking about. Anyway, that could fit in our bit. That takes... We need sugar, wouldn't we? Hmm. We've got sugar beets, but we're not really making sugar with it, are we? Lime and beet pulp production. But I think we want chopped beet. That's... That's the thing. I think that's the jobby. The sugar beet processing plant. How much is that? 125 grand. I did say that sort of thing we could put here. And I think that would give us the chopped beet. I'm sure that's chopped beet. I think I'll just have to have a look into the two uh, beet production things I've got there and see which one works best with regards to what, what output I want. I'm sure the beet pulp one does put out cut beet share of it uh, so I'll probably have to have a little fiddle with them another time trying to get that sorted now I'm hoping this is hay I really am I'm sure this is ah oh, I hope I got the process right again it because it's just coming up as bail down the bottom there I'm not sure I've lost all confidence in my abilities here people and Where's, oh, it's hay. Yeah, I was looking at my field info. I was like, fuck me, that says grass. Excuse my language. Yeah, I think this is going to start to become a more <laughs> 18s channel. With uh, the way I'm losing patience with uh, farm sim at the minute. It's, uh, yeah, annoying. As I'm sure anyone that's part of my Discord would have seen over the last sort of week or two, really. Um, I haven't been on it much because I haven't been doing much, so I've not got a lot to say and do, and I don't just like just not one of these people who just spew out crap all the time. Um, and nor is anyone else on the Discord actually. People just pop on and chat about stuff that's relevant at the time, which is nice. So uh, yeah, but though I've I've certainly uh, let out a few of my frustrations and annoyances there, and I'm not quite sure how quickly I'll get these out. 
with regards to the the new uh, DLC. The more I see it, the more I'm disappointed by it. I honestly am. I know some people will be creaming at the bit to uh, to make boats and make a roller coaster because you know that's what we want from our realistic farm and simulator game is to uh, have broken farm physics, but build a roller coaster because yay, that shit makes sense. Just oh, it just bewilders me that that's what they thought the game needed. It's like, oh Construction Simulator did well, let's bang that out. Construction Simulator did well because it's a construction game. It's not Construction Simulator with farming. It's just stupid. At least the uh, the farming additions to SnowRunner work. <laughs> Farm some can't even get all the farming to work yet. Alright, that's our first 14. Let's get this one done. Gotta think where I'm gonna put them, because I'll stack them outside and then I'll try and move them all in. Because they're gonna be stacked next to the to the straw. So I want it to be near there, but probably not right on top of it. And I don't want to be smacking into it every time I go in. By the way, yes, we are back to Angry Farmer. <laughs> we had Angry Farmer for a while there, and then he disappeared. We had Angry Trucker in Snow Runner. And now, uh, yeah, my annoyances are back. Where to put them? I may have to actually stack them where I stacked. Yeah, for now, anyway. I might make make some additions to the farm as well take them trees out and put another shed in and the shed that's opposite this clam I mean it's got the uh, the beet stuff in at the moment it's a bit awkward to get to which was the point of it but with the equipment that I now need getting larger I think I might sell it and turn it round and put another one in of a similar ilk uh, just, just have a face another way. I'm not sure if I can build Cavalier Roy's own uh, buildings. I haven't looked into that. Oh, if I press the right button on it. So let's uh, go get some more of these bales. Let's try and have fun with it. We'll get them stacked up and then uh, hopefully we'll have some time and be able to uh, make some feed because our worker is going to be busy in the Lambo all day. It's going to take a long time to subsoil that field, if they do it right. So uh, let's crack on, let's get some of this done. see it is <laughs> snowing this time to start snowing it's quarter to four and it wasn't until I stacked 70 of the bales over by the bees that I thought you know what I could really do we're having some of these over by the uh, the cows and the actual feed mixer so I've collected up the last two bales and uh, we're gonna try and make ourselves some uh, some team up in some way, shape, or form. We've got everything we need. I think actually, what I need 
is a big weight to go on the back of the Massey because the Massey has the front loader and the uh, the beat car on it and that's what we need. Now I don't think I'm going to need, well I will need both of these but I don't think I can take both of these bales of hay in there and then make an appropriate um, mix. So I'll just stick the one in. That should be alright. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Well, I guess I could see if there's a wheel loader to front loader converter. And then I'd be able to put the um, beat car on the front of the wheel loader. That'd be pretty handy if I could do that. So if I have a little look, this should pop up and tell us what we've got in here. Now there is a, uh, a different view, isn't there? Okay, well that's a little bit annoying. I forgot to change my recipe mix. So this is just uh, hay, silage and straw. So hopefully it's actually going to take that silage that we've got. But that... Oh dear. Right yo. <laughs> Let's see what sort of mess I've made of this. Oh, you get worse, doesn't it? It doesn't get better, it just gets worse. Right. Madness. I forget that all these things reset so often because that was initially set on um, the sort of make your own mix. <laughs> I think it's the realistic. It's called the realistic one, so you can put anything in there. And you can put anything in there anyway. But for us to see what the mix is we really you know, need to be able to see the proper stuff so I'm just going to put this in there now I'm sure the old mix is or was um, two hay one straw now I don't need this anymore we'll just take that off that oh bollocks that being <laughs> That being the uh, battle fork, and we'll just go and get some silage. Hopefully, we've got some space in there to put silage in. If not, I've just got a wagon of forage, which we can just pour in. We'll, we'll just make do. I don't know. Honestly, everything, <laughs> everything, not just since Base Plus, but. Uh, the COVID has turned my brain to mush and not doing this for what feels like a long time probably f oh you bitch I forgot that do that three or four weeks um, yeah quite a thing you have to go into all the XMLs and change the way that the buckets all fill to stop it from doing that so that's a little bit annoying right If you use a mod bucket, that's not such an issue, but if you use like base equipment, yeah, it doesn't take this stuff to it. Right, okay. Absolute penis. Absolute penis. Right. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay, so <laughs> I've fed the what was sort of a, a forage mix into the cows I think it actually split it as empty because it kept flicking between hay and straw so I think straw has gone in for bedding and hay has gone in for hay so that we've got some silage this time there we go right so now we uh, have a look there we go we've got silage now it's getting dark I cannot be faffing about we're just going to pick it up I'm afraid I did it properly the first time and it didn't do it properly properly so if we pop that in there now I honestly think that that once that's completely mixed that will consider that uh, TMR I'm sure of it hmm maybe not Perhaps it does need three ingredients. Hey, that's gone in as alfalfa. Nothing is registering as silage, is it? That's weird. That is very weird. Okay, what's it saying on the side? Sorry. 
it is saying we have alfalfa hay. And it is saying, oh, it does say grass silage on the side there, so we'll go with that. Right, yeah. Anyway, let's go and get the Massey and uh, see if we put some chopped beet in, if it makes any difference. So I quickly raced up to the stall <laughs> with the Massey. Uh, picked up a uh, 2500, uh, is it 10 winkle? Uh, weight, that's now on the back here, so that should balance us out for beets. Hopefully. So if we uh, reattach, there's the old weight there. Reattach here, so we just slide straight in. And we've got hope that this will um, create some sort of are some sort of uh, TMR for us. If not, I might cry. But I'm sure it's the three we need. I'm sure of it. I don't think there's anything anything else we should have to add to make this. To honestly, I thought if you put in the hay and the other stuff that it worked. So if I turn that on, that's going in. So that doesn't want no more than 20%. Okay. Okay, cool. Right. So that should be a TMR, yeah? According to that thing. I mean, not a lot of TMR, but it should be some. So if we then... We still just sort of... Comes out as a thing. Do I need to... Uh, Turn it on and mix it or something. Does that need to be doing it? It's eighty percent capacity as well. I'm sure. I'm sure that's all we need. We'll find out, won't we? We're gonna see if we can feed it in anyway. Sorry, this uh, end section was supposed to be really quick. It's, it's just saying grass silage. It's not coming up as TMR, is it? Hmm. What else? It's got the grass silage. It's got the bean. I don't know. Answers on the postcard, people. Let me know. Let's feed it. See what it does. See, it just flickers down the bottom right there. You can see between the different things that are in there. It's put them in as individual. I thought it turned it into TMR. Or whether I was just saying this is a TMR mix and it's going to do your feeds. If we have a look in our animal feed while we're here. Uh, go to our cows. It went up a little bit, not a lot, but some. Hmm. Still going in. It's now flicking between all three. Yeah. And now it's sort of stuck. By the looks of it, stuck at that three percent. And it's just saying uh, alfalfa hay, although it's saying it's full of beets. Yeah, oh, that's what to empty then, didn't it? It was doing something. Although it's not going down in value. This is just such an annoyance, honestly. Never mind. Wait, yo. There's some sort of feed in there. Now, I do recall something like uh, you should put um, like a normal feed in there first. But none of it is like a normal feed, is it? So, I'm not sure because you can. If I. Uh, can I just empty this? 
Oh, just empty on the floor for me. Yeah. That's all the uh that's just gonna keep pumping out. We didn't put that much in there, did we? Come on, what are you doing to me? That's crazy. Is it just gonna keep doing it? Nope, right. Okay. Turn it off. But it still says three litres. It's, it's weird. I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to faff about with this some more. Every, all the mods are up to date. Everything that I understood I needed to do, I've done. Hence why the Keenan sort of works. Why? That didn't quite give me what I was after, I'm not sure. So this one is saying alfalfa. That one, dairy cow mix. Sorry, pig food standard, which we can't make. So yeah, Lord knows. Right, I'm going to try and get the uh, the chopped beet just in here. So I've put a big bucket on the front of the class. Only helps three and a half thousand litres, which is weird. So apparently, that bucket on the front of the Massey holds more than the big bucket on the front of the, uh, the wheel loader. And what I don't understand is why it tells me that we have alfalfa of anything and we don't have any alfalfa. See? Now this is what I was... I think I mentioned it before last time out. Uh, I think it was Cook that asked. Um, like, what's the point in doing it when you can put it all in it on its own? And clearly easier as well. It's easier just to pump in the bales, pump in the silage, without worrying about the uh, the mixer wagon. Especially since using the mixer wagon, it didn't really do it properly. Again, probably I need to go off and try some different things, but I've, I've followed all the instruction to get Maze Plus working properly. So I'm not sure. I don't know what. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend a bit of time this evening. I'll chop a load of beet up. I shall feed my cows. Chop beet. I'll shovel in some uh, silage and uh, get some hay in there. See what I can do. Because I need to feed them. It's now half past seven. So that'll be it for today's episode. It's probably going to be an utter mess and too long because I've been trying to figure this shiznis out on the fly. Um, I'll try and record a few more episodes closer together, but obviously I need to now figure out what is going on here. So hopefully you've enjoyed me humble, fumble, bumble my way through. And uh, yeah, chatting shit about what's been going on. If you have enjoyed it, give me a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel. Hit subscribe, they're not always this messy. I say that too often, so perhaps they are. And, uh, yeah, comments and feedback down there. If you know what I'm getting wrong with this, uh, not with this, but with my uh, feed mix, let me know. I've, I've got everything into the XMLs of the Keenan that I understood that I needed to put in there. Don't know why it didn't mix. I don't know why it's saying alfalfa. Let me know. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.